You may not know me now, but you will. I am. You might not remember my story. I was born into slavery. The people say that I got in a card game dispute with my master. Being within an inch of his life, I fled to become a free man. The details are a bit foggy in my mind. I'm not one for harping on the past, but if you'll indulge me for a moment, I do have quite a story to tell. So there I was. A young black man in the middle of civil war, no place to go. So, I went where everyone with no place to go goes. Oklahoma. The Indian territories in the area is where I fled, where the law couldn't reach. I lived among the natives, Cherokee, Creeks, Seminoles. I lived with them, learned their language, their terrain, tracking skills. And of my own volition, gunmanship. I'd say I'm only fair with a rifle, but my skills with a firearm reach many as noble sharpshooter beyond compare. I became multifaceted and so skilled and well known, it allowed me to escape the oppression of the time. But I'm getting ahead of myself. One thing led to another, and the war was over. I was now a free man of the 13th Amendment, and I decided upon a quaint life on an Arkansas farm. But the quiet life didn't last long for me. Can I help you, sir? Hello, sir. I'm Mr. James F. Fagan. I'm here on behalf of Isaac Parker. Have I done something wrong? On the contrary. Can I have a moment of your time? Isaac Parker just happens to be the federal judge of the Indian territories. Sir, it's been decided that these territories have been lost far too long. We have no jurisdiction out there, no government. Outlaws can escape from the lands all they want and commit whatever crimes they want. I've been tasked to find 200 deputy marshals to help bring justice and tame these lands. I'm, uh, I'm not sure I understand. Mr. Reeves, I have heard of you. You have talent beyond compare. As I've heard, you know the Indian Territories better than anyone I could possibly find in the country. I want you to help bring these outlaws to justice. So you with us, Deputy Marshal Reeves? The first black deputy west of the Mississippi, not even the extreme oppression and racism of the time could compromise me from my talent. Let's just say Mr. Fagan's decision wasn't one he would soon regret. Over the next 32 years, I had captured some of the most dangerous outlaws the country had known, putting to justice nearly 3,000 outlaws in my time, all without getting injured once.
never been one to show much excitement in my line of duty, but I do feel as if the height of my career was bringing one certain man to justice. A one... Bob Doiser. He's a jack of all trades, Reeves. He's cunning, conniving, skilled in every way possible. Do we have a motive? We don't know. He was an extremely successful farmer. It seems as if he deliberately chose a life of crime with his insane skills. He's an absolute devil, getting himself involved in any kind of thievery you could possibly imagine. And for years, not a single deputy of ours has been able to get his hands on him. Okay, I'll get him then. Are you insane? Mr. Reeves, you're skilled, yes. But this man is known for torturing and killing those who ever tried to attempt to get info on him. Your stoic, I'll do it myself type attitude would only get you so far. How do you plan on beating this guy? Easy, with a gun. Best Reeves, huh? That's who they got on me now. <laughs> I've been evading capture for all these years. This one ain't gonna be any different. <sighs> I don't get it, man. I've only been robbing stagecoaches, banks, stores, and every little bit of money from lonely riders. Uh, the nerve of some people. Uh, what did I do wrong? So I send this Reeves fellow a message saying that if you won't stop hunting me, I'll kill him. And he sends a message back saying that he's just gonna, if as long as I don't stop running and resisting, he's ready to give me a chance. I mean, like, what is he, my dad? You know, I feel like you're the only person that respects me, you know that? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Well, I guess it's easy as that. I'll kill him. Hey man, open up, it's Bass Reeves, I just wanna talk. Looks like the place that we got the tip from the stride. We gotta head to the to the Cherokee Hills and we'll find our man. Couldn't Mr. Most Wanted have picked a better place to hide like a coward? It's pouring out. Sure we can handle him? He's no joke. I've seen plenty of him. I'm sure he won't be a hazard. <laughs> what the hell? What's that? Come on, Reed, we're gonna go! <laughs> they're running. Oh god, oh god, they're running. Here we in the tree! Okay, he's turning fire! I don't think you're taking this very seriously. Did I do it? Did you look at that! The unkillable bass tree died behind a tree trunk. What a way to go out, just like all the other good-for-nothing lawmen who couldn't catch me and die. All because you... We're too afraid to face me head on. I don't know what fear is. I broke free of slavery and the first black deputy west of Mississippi. I'm beholden to no master other than the duty and the justice of this land. So believe me, I'm not afraid of you. So that's my story, part of it anyway. I'd be here all day if I wanted to detail about every deadbeat outlaw I caught. Maybe a couple days, I don't know man, 3,000 is a lot. But yeah, that's all I've got for now. Story of a man who rose and became more than the hand he was dealt in life. The one and only.